Hello, today we're going to talk about the importance of LinkedIn, why you should get it, and how to get started with it. So I'm Saul, and I'm going to explain to you what exactly is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a social media platform for businesses and and people looking for work who, who are looking for connections to venture out to become potential employers or just to have connections with people in a professional atmosphere. It allows users to showcase their professional skills and a place to connect with potential employers, recruiters, and other professionals. Hi, my name is Lauren, and I'm going to be talking to you about the importance of LinkedIn. LinkedIn allows you to connect with others and find other people in your field. It allows you to be able to expose yourself to new opportunities. It allows you to be able to show off your personal branding, and it creates opportunities for development and learning. All of these things are what you make of them. If you put yourself out there, LinkedIn can help you. This is, plays into the industry insights, where you can find where you fit in better based on previous people used in your industry. Hi, my name's Alex. Now that we've gone over the importance of LinkedIn, we're going to start talking about how you can get started. Um, for beginners, you got to create your profile. Just go to their website. Super easy. Put in an email, verify your phone number, all that. Um, we recommend you should get familiar with the website, how to click around, how to get to certain areas. Um, consider installing the app on your phone. It's another great resource to have that there and to get notifications sent to your phone when people try and message you, when people try and connect with you. It's always good. Um, you should find companies and organizations in your field to follow. It's great to stay informed on new opportunities, new job opportunities, or just what's going on in your field so you can better adapt for your future. Um, you should customize your URL so it's easier for people to find you. And for when you send your link to someone, it just looks better than having a random string of numbers at the end. And you should also go through your settings to make sure that each setting is what you want it to be so that people can easily find your information and all that. And then lastly, you should network. We'll be going through a lot of these in more detail later on in this presentation, so stick around. Hi, my name is Adam, and today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, your profile picture and what it should look like on LinkedIn. Uh, here's some tips that we came up with to help you uh, get the perfect profile picture. The first one would be to avoid selfies, have someone else take it. You want it to look professional. Be the only person in the image. You want it to be yourself and only yourself so people recognize you. Uh, you want to wear professional clothes, like suit and tie for men, or for women, a dress or a suit as well. Keep it updated. You want it to be updated. You want it to look like you right now. You don't want to have an old photo from about three or four years ago that people may not recognize you in, so you want it to be as updated as possible. Uh, use a high-resolution image. You want it to be high quality so people can see it well and it looks professional as well. Avoid distracting backgrounds. You'd like to have a, a pretty plain background, maybe like a professional photo background, like you can see here on the slide, where it's me in a suit and tie, and then the background I was professionally taken. And you want to avoid the excessive use of filters. You want it to just look like you. You don't want it to look very fake and uh, over-appealing and over-stimulating to the pe people that are viewing it. Thank you. Hey, it's Alex again. I'm here to talk about some of the content that you should add to your profile. Um, you should consider it an online and interactive resume of sorts. So you got to have a profile photo, a background photo for like the top banner, um, a summary of you, what you what your likes are, what your dislikes, all that. We'll go into more detail about that later. Some skills that you have, both professional, hard skills, and some soft skills. Um, you got to go into your work history, your education background, um, any services you may offer if you do some kind of freelancing kind of stuff or that kind of thing. Um, you should also consider taking the skill assessments on LinkedIn to obtain that verified skills badge on your profile. That allows people who look at it to see that, oh, you actually do know how to do this and you're not just saying you know how to do this. Um, you should also post some relevant content in your feed of milestones that you achieved, like when you graduate college, when you get a new job, um, or 
events that you go to. Like if you go to a job fair and you're still looking for stuff, that's a great post to make um, to let people know that you're in the market, that you're doing all these things. It looks really good to employers. Hey guys, it's Emma and I'm going to be talking about how to write your summary in your LinkedIn page. Basically, your summary should be between three and five sentences and the summary should include um, what you're passionate about in your summary. This is your time that you can be honest in your LinkedIn page and share your personality a little bit. You can talk about what's important to you and some highlights from your past and what you're most proud about. It needs to include your area of expertise, types of organizations you've worked with, and what you're most professionally known for. Basically, you want it to be a coherent paragraph and flow from one sentence to another. Thanks. Hey guys, it's Zoe. I'm going to be talking to you about customizing your LinkedIn URL. Your first step is you want to find the public profile and URL tab and click the edit button and it should look like a pencil symbol. Under edit your custom URL, you're going to click on the edit button next to your URL. And it's recommended in our case to use your name and if you are working with a brand or company to use that name. And you also want to avoid changing it as much as possible. Um, on this slide, we have a, an example picture of what it will look like. Um, this is a really good way when you're sharing your URL with someone that it's not full, like a link full of like random letters and it's much easier to differentiate your LinkedIn from maybe someone else's who hasn't done this yet. My name is Nick Barnage and I am presenting the networking and recruiter slide. Um, as far as LinkedIn goes, connections are extremely important. Um, adding everybody you know, especially if they are in the same industry, is crucial. And knowing op that opportunities can come from anyone is, is key, um, whether this be in class, at work, at an internship, you know, um, uh, traveling, or, or maybe just a, an extracurricular activity. You, you can always take the time to network, meet new people, and seek out opportunities. Um, if you're looking for work at a certain company or in a new city, finding something, finding someone with something in common and reaching out to them um, is, is key. FSU alumni will often help out at other FSU alumni, you know, one, one big family. Um, and last but not least, um, reaching out to recruiters. And it may seem like an obvious one, but, you know, you do all the steps above reaching out to recruiters might be your last step and they might be able to help you find more positions.